My head is aching. There is a radio in my kitchen that I play, you know, on low volume. I'm in there doing what I do. I got some songs, but when I go to bed and I turn everything off, TV, whatever, I can pick it up in there. I can hear that just low enough to help me get to sleep. It's another reason I run it. If it's a little louder, then it annoys me. But if it's at a certain volume, I'll fall asleep. And I also wake up, I'll hear it. But there's nothing worse. You know, have you ever seen the episode, uh, ground, uh, the movie Groundhog Day, where he wakes up to I Got You Babe by Sonny and Cher? That first song you hear just drives you nuts all day. It's stuck in your noggin. So what was the song this morning that I hear when I first open my peepers? Do you really want to know? Because it's driving me nuts. Hey, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You're, you're so fine. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. How'd you like to walk around all day with that pounding in your brain? Well, that's what's going to happen today because I'm Hey, Mickey, and everywhere I go, whoever Mickey is, here's to you, buddy. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. And I know most of you have heard that song. And if not, you need to get out more. <laughs> you go, go dust off your vehicle. Call an Uber. Whatever you got to do. Have them take you to the craziest bar that your area has. Because if you ain't heard Hey, Mickey, why don't you Google Taverns with a Jukebox. And go take you some quarters. I, I think they might even take credit cards now. I don't know. I ain't been in a bar in a long, long time. It's right there. And go play Hey Mickey. But I think there was a rule that that, that particular song was banned from all barroom jukeboxes. At least the ones I went to. You didn't find no Hey Mickey. Because there's a, there'd always be that guy that would come in or the girl and play that, and then the, you know, drink sales would drop when a Hey Mickey was on because it was stuck in everybody's head, and they all they go to get a drink, and then they're like, Hey Mickey, Hey Mickey, Hey Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. <laughs> anyway, I was looking at some. I'm halfway thinking of buying another vehicle because, well, I only have one. And it's a gas hog. And I knew that when I bought it. I knew that. But I also had another vehicle. I got another truck. And it's a gas hog. But it's been in the shop for a year and a half. And I'm pretty much, pretty much writing it off. And I kind of would like to buy... A new one. I looked at the trucks. I, I, that didn't take long when I seen the prices of sixty, seventy, and almost eighty thousand dollars. That ain't happening. I go buy a house for that. And I don't need another truck because I got one. I got a big truck with an eight foot bed, and it'll haul anything I need to haul, and it'll pull anything I need to pull. But what I could use is a gas saving. They don't even really call them cars anymore. Gas-saving vehicle. So I got to look and I'm like, well, let's let's see what Toyotas are costing. And I even looked at Toyota, uh, what's their small pickup? Not Tundra. Dakota, Dakotas? No, that's Dodge. You know, the little Toyota truck. I looked at them. Man, them things are 40, 50 grand. Come on. Especially if you want four-wheel drive, which I don't see any sense in owning a truck without four-wheel drive. But So that's out. Why can't I think of the name of that? You know what I'm talking about. Tacoma. Tacoma. Yeah, those are crazy price. So then I looked, you know, well, what are these well, Camrys and whatever. And they got some nice ones. And the Camrys, man... 
I think I looked at a 2024 that was 36000 which I might consider doing. But, man, if we would have heard the the prices of vehicles. Now, I mean, you got to understand inflation. Everything is up. Everything's higher. A dollar doesn't go anywhere like it used to. But, man, that's still a lot of money. And I ain't going to buy a brand, uh, a model of a car that, I mean, it doesn't matter anymore nowadays what model you buy, even if they were the best models 30 years ago. It doesn't mean, uh, it's just a name now. They're all made in Mexico or wherever. You know, you don't know what you're getting. So you just kind of kind of do your homework and find out what what's lasting. But I would never buy a first year of any kind of a new model. Because you just don't know. I mean, there there have been vehicles in the past that came out that were supposedly uh, going to be great, and they were junk. <laughs> this Ford Pinto, ring any bells? Maverick. Yeah, uh, we we had those vehicles. The AMC Gremlin. Gremlin. I had a buddy. My had my son's mother brother had one of them. God, they're ugly. He loves them things. What's in my back? It itches. That's just looking stage right now. Before I, I getting me to pull the trigger on anything is because I'm, I'm debt free and I want to, you know, I know that if I want another vehicle, I'm not going to be, uh, I don't want to buy a piece of crap, used piece of crap uh, that I don't know the history of. For one time, I've never had a new car. One time in my life, I'm going to get one. And if I'm going to get one, I better get it before they reach 100000 So, we're looking. And probably my second choice would be a used car. And probably always the smartest choice is to get one with very, very low miles that's used. Say 20,000, 10,000, 20,000 miles. Barely used. Because uh, people, they'll, they'll buy cars and trade them in in a year, or they'll lease them. You can get those. But I, I even looked at them online, and, and it, they're, not, they're not cheap either. So nothing is. It's never going to go down. I mean, if, you, if you're sitting there thinking, oh, why, why don't the prices go back down? That doesn't happen anymore today, guys. It, it's never going to happen. Nothing will ever go back down because they know we'll pay it. When they find out you'll pay it, why would they put the pro okay? Why can you can you see them sitting around the executive table in a big meeting, and the one guy goes, "Well, let's lower the prices on everything," and everybody raises their hand and go, "Ooh, oh, okay, yes." They ain't gonna do that. They're making huge profits, huge profits. They're not going to lower prices, so if you're going to if you're going to get it, get it, because it's only going to go up. But it's just wishful thinking right now. I haven't, you know, if you remember the last time I went to buy a vehicle, didn't go well. Um, I was shopping online. I was lazy shopping online. Found something I liked through a, what I thought was a reputable dealer, if they even exist in Fort Smith and I get the I get the money from my bank you know they send me a cashier's check for the price of the vehicle and they sold it out from under me because they probably actually didn't even have it so I made a big video or I tore up the check slammed the dealer you know not, didn't hurt them I wasted my time. So, you're better off just going there. Just going there, be ready to buy it right then. Because they, they're they greedy. The next guy that walks in, if you, you there's no, no, it used to be you'd put a $100 bill on it and they'd hold it. They won't do that anymore. Or I wouldn't trust them to do that. So, you better go in willing to do the whole deal. Really, you don't have nego. You can't negotiate like you used to, you know. So, 
yeah, go in ready to make the deal. And and I would not advise anybody to shop online uh, because you can't see it. You don't even know it exists. Anybody can draw up a picture or something say, hey, I'm selling this. But, yeah, I got burned on that. And so that put a bad taste in my mouth. And But I don't know. But eventually, yes, I'm going to have to come up with something. I don't, I'm don't. i not buying old used junk to fix up with patina on it. I already got one of them. Been in a shop for a year and a half. I don't want it. He can keep it. I don't care. I'm done with that truck. So I'll be shopping around pretty soon. Um, I've got a lot of things to get done around here. But I... You know, I'm putting a lot of gasoline in that big truck. And I knew that when I bought it. And and it's fine. But it would be nice to not have to go to the gas pump every time I had to go somewhere. You know, put in a tank of gas and I could get a couple of trips 100 miles away out of it. So, it's in. So, I'll be looking and doing a little shopping. Uh, but, man, vehicles are so ugly today. These new crossover things. Um, they're just ugly. Very ugly. I don't like no ugly car. I don't like a red vehicle either. Even though my... Well, my, my other truck's not red. It's rust... Rust-ed. Rust-ed is what the color of my old truck is. But... I don't know. I don't know. And I know people are going to comment and go, Well, you know we are going to have payments. And your insurance is going to go, Yeah. Yeah, you buy something, you have payments. Uh, I don't have I don't have a mortgage. I don't have a truck payment. So, if you want something, you got to get it. Right? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to cut it off. I got a lot of stuff to do today. So I'm going to get out there, and I'm going to get after it. Happy trails.